you're just selecting this this gown this evening? Well, I don't know. My, my stylist, Katie Kion, she's amazing. Mm -hmm. And we, this was the first dress I tried on for the premiere. And it just felt like, you know, it felt like me. It's beaded. It's got a cape. It's got a little bit of flair. But I think it's it's sweet. It's elegant. I love it. And it's shaking it up from what your character would rock. You know yeah. what I mean? You're yeah. Giving us every kind of attitude and angle and fashion experience, you know. If you um, say so. <laughs> Look at this thing! I can't Sexy. even see it! Like a face breast. But what does it mean to you to be a part of this and carrying on the legacy, the torch of Mean Girls, and of course that iconic burn book? Oh my god, I mean it is just so, so special. And I, and I really, I, like I really hope like I can just translate and like articulate really, truly how grateful I am. I'm truly honored to be like part of such a timeless, iconic franchise, work with Tina Fey, work with like such an incredible cast. Right. And I think especially as like, you know, like a woman of color and like a South Indian, I think we rarely get to see ourselves represented in a group of girls who are like unanimously considered beautiful and popular and like the, the like epitome of glamour, even if it's just in a high school. And so I think it's really amazing that like, you know, maybe young girls of color will see someone of color in, in, in a group so iconic and timeless and think, okay, slay. Like, you know, we're, yes. pretty, we're pretty fetched too. Uh, you said that so well. Thank you. And you even threw in some plastic. I know. You know, vernacular there. Yeah. That was wonderful. Thank you. The OGs would be so proud. Oh, I hope so. Oh, and speaking of, our team spoke to an OG yesterday oh at God, the Golden no Globes way. carpet. No you know this girl, Amanda. No, There's no advice. Listen, you got to get your inner, your inner curious little, like inner curious child. Yeah. I think Karen sees the world with uh, through a very specific lens and um, and I think I think she's gonna be amazing. Yeah. Can't wait to see you, baby. <laughs> Just keep keep the legacy going. <laughs> what is it like hearing that from the OG herself? That's like really special. Like I I, I really admire her so so much. She's, she's one of my favorite actresses of all time. I, I think Karen is my favorite character from Mean Girls, and to hear somebody like that, like there's always like this level of self doubt with with being like so, a young actor and with with taking on an iconic franchise. So it's, it's really special and reassuring to hear that from her. That's so awesome. And tonight, tonight we've already seen some of the OGs trickle down the carpet. They'll be sitting. Yes. Oh, my God. And I've been so, like, consumed. I haven't been able to, like, really pay attention. And none other than a Lindsay Lohan's going to be here tonight as well. What will it be like sitting in the theater watching your take of this film with them? Look, I watched this film for the first time in screening like uh -huh. three weeks ago in a theater that had like five people in it. Uh -huh. And so I didn't get a chance to like gauge if people were liking it. Yeah. And like, I was so nervous and I was like, no one's laughing at any jokes. Well, no sh there's like five people there. <laughs> and, and I'm one of them. And I'm one, and I'm one of them. <laughs> and so I think it's gonna be really amazing to see like what lands with the audiences, what resonates with the audiences. And I like, I won't lie, like I will be sneaking glances to Lindsay throughout the theater being like, does she like it? Does she like it? Does she Entertained, like, we will all be entertained. Uh, Congratulations and have fun tonight. Thank You've you done so the much. work. Enjoy the celebration. Thank you so much. All I right. appreciate it.